Hey there, welcome back. In the last video, we have completed our view model. In this video, we will look into the views. Before proceeding, I need to make one small change in the view model. In the init function, call the calculate past and future weeks function after selected date is set. Perfect. I have already made the required changes to the views. Let me walk you through those changes. We will start with new task view. In this view, I have added the save task action closure, which I am calling on the button press like this. And at the end, we have preview. I am adding the action closure like this. Next is task list item view. Here, I have added two action closures, one for short tap and one for long press. I am calling this function in the toggle task completion function and delete task completion function. Also, I am calling the task completion method in the on tap gesture. This is how the preview looks. And don't worry about this now, we will need to make some changes in the task home page, which we will do in a bit. Awesome. Let's move to task list view. Here, I have created an view model observable object and initialize it in init. I have also set the current date tasks. We have two functions, one for task completion and other one is for delete task, which are calling view model functions. On short press, we are calling the task completion and on the long press, we are calling the delete task. Great, we are done here. Let's move to the date view. Here I have created a view model observable object and I am calling the select the date function inside the on tap gesture. These are the only changes we have in the date view. Now let's look into the date slider view. We have a view model which is being initialized in the init. I am using the view model to retrieve the weeks. At the end, I am adding the preview. Awesome. Next is our date header view. Here also I have added the view model and pass it in the date slider view and date view. Get selected date from the view model. Here also at the end, I'm adding the preview. Great. Now let's move to our final view. That is our home page. Here, add the view model and pass it to the date header and task list view like this. Also call the update task list. And at the end, we have the preview. And these are the changes we have made to the views. With this, we have implemented clean architecture and MVVM design pattern. I hope you enjoyed this series. I will meet you in the next excited video. Until then, take care. Do not forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.